Wake up, Lo-Fi Nation. It's another Good News Friday. And welcome, everyone, to the Lo-Fi Poly Sci Podcast. I'm your host, Michael Pickering. That's right. Lo-Fi as in low fidelity, low quality, in your face, messy as can be, global news show. And it's everyone's favorite day of the week. That's right. It's another Good News Friday. The news fresh off that press. Source, NPR, science section. What's in a squeak? For naked mole rats? Everything. And of course, everything NPR. Yesterday, we talked about gorillas communicating with each other. This article goes a step further and tells us that different animals in different regions of the world have different dialects. And of course they do. As the article states, we've known for a while that whales, for instance, they have different songs for their localized pods. And that a whale of the same species from different parts of the world and different pods, well, they don't speak the same language or dialect. And now... Add naked mole rats to the list of animals in this category. This is great. I mean, really, it's about time we humans realize that communication is so diverse, especially amongst our animal cousins. Next up, source Reuters Science and Space section. Beast of Five Teeth, Chilean scientist unearthed skunk that walked among dinosaurs. A skunk, you say? Walking with dinosaurs over 70 million years ago? Lovely, simply lovely. You know how for a long time people thought mammals didn't walk with our dino buddies. But oh yes, they did. Or we did. Humans are mammals too. Now you know. It always amazes me how much we know of our past on Earth. And yet, how much we're still learning. I like it. I like it a lot. Now, moving forward because we never move on from anything. To something I'm not sure I like a lot or how I feel about at all. Source, the text section of the BBC. Elon Musk's Neuralink shows monkey playing Pong with mind. All right, Musk, you're getting weird again, or rather, you're getting even more weird again. So Pong is an old school video game, very rudimentary, but YouTube it and see for yourself. This article explains how Musk uses neuro implants into this monkey so that the monkey can play Pong using its mind. Oh, breathe. And let's go. Okay, Musk, how about you leave those monkeys alone and try your own device on yourself if you think it's so groovy? We here at Lo-Fi Poli Sci are tired of people messing with monkeys because they're too afraid to try their own ideas on themselves or other human beings. We here at Lo-Fi Poli Sci, though, we're not saying that Neuralinks are a bad thing. We're simply saying, hey, Musk, leave those monkeys alone. And our following story comes from the oddities section of the AP. Monkey Business. Two dozen monkeys escape German zoo for a day. Yeah, you know why? Because they're probably heard about this Musk story and they're like, I'm out of here. I'd jump ship too, come on. And don't tell me monkeys can't read or watch videos or understand us. Never underestimate our animal cousins because we too are mammal animals. And perhaps it's us humans who simply can't understand the world around us. Good for you monkeys of Germany, or rather monkeys in Germany because we all know that monkeys are not native to Germany. Now you know. And a last piece of news to send you on your way for the weekend. A local good news story from yours truly. Pickering's morning walk spots two parakeets in palm tree. That's right, this morning, as I woke and walked upon my path in life, I first spotted a green parakeet fly into a palm tree. I stopped to admire and realized there was a second already in the same palm. Against the backdrop of a beautiful blue sky, I witnessed two beautiful birds living their life. While some may say, how does this story make it into Good News Friday? The answer is quite simple. Lo-Fi Nation, take the time to admire the little things, the beauty that surrounds us all. Take the time to live, to breathe, and to realize that we are part of a larger world. This weekend, take time to admire your own green parakeets in a palm tree, however they may manifest. And that's it. I'm done. I'm out for the weekend, peeps, but you know how to get at me. Tomorrow we release issue number two of our written publication, Letters of the Lo-Fi Poli Sci. Get at me if you want access or if you want to write for us. Do you have top ten ideas? Get at me. Do you have good news to share? Share it with us all. Interested in being a co-host? Interested in the flash cast, live stream, episode takeovers? Always remember that Lo-Fi Poli Sci is more than just me. It's the we that we be. Peace and well-being to all my human beings out there. Much love and always the best. Pickering, signing off.